Hi, welcome back. As we know, Mule ESB is a integration platform. Let's understand first what is integration and history of integration. How many ways we can make integrations using Mule ESB? A use case discussion on the same. Integration means the process of making data transfer between multiple systems is known as integration. If we don't want to transfer the data between systems, then integration not required. Coming to the integration history, years ago, everyone used paperwork to persist the data and also to transfer the data. Later on, IT has introduced then web applications development has started. Then a lot of data stored into individual systems. Each individual system has a lot of data. Then each individual identified that the data can be shared among multiple systems so that they can earn some money based on the data. So very initially they have used email communication to transfer the data between systems. But here more human intervention required to keep the data into email then send it. On the receiver side again a human required to get the data. That's where integration is born. To evade the human intervention and automate the process of making data transfer between applications, people identified SOAP web services at first time to make the integration among the systems. Later on, we have got a lot of approaches to make the integrations efficient way. SOAP services are very a traditional approach since they have invented very first time. Later on that REST services has implemented and introduced in the market which has a lot of features compared to SOAP. We can also make integrations using JMS, PubSub model like our messaging systems like WhatsApp. I can post a message into WhatsApp message JMS system then that will be subscribed by the receiver to whom I want to send and SFTP it's a simple file transport protocol we can allow access over internet to the our system folder so that the receiver can interact with the SFTP location and make the integration database we can dump the data into database table and we can provide those details to the receiver so that they can interact with the database and get the data that means integration happened file i can dump the data into file and we can keep into sftp location so that the receiver can read the data from sftp location or we can fill the data into file and we can send over email so that the receiver would able to get the data and last but not least system based connectors the integration tools have been providing a system based connectors to efficiently integrate with particular systems need not to write lot of logic to connect to the other systems and get the data for example salesforce sap amazon extra we have these connectors in mule esb to interact with the Salesforce, SAP, image and extra systems to send the data to get the data. Among these, the most efficient way, 90% of the times used way is web services, then JMS, then system based connectors. Of course, database we use in each individual system to persist the data. Let's Take a use case example to understand in better way. Assume I have one diagnostic center and patients are coming to my diagnostic center and have been diagnosing there. 
then I am maintaining each patient data in the database. Then I have lot of patient information in my system. One hospital has reached out me and asking for patient data so that they can reach out to their mobile phones, their email address to offer their services. So we have made the integration between my diagnostic center and hospital. How I can send the patient information to the hospital using integrations? The first most way is diagnostic center developers can develop web services, either REST or SOAP services as a provider then provides those details to the hospital so that the hospital can consume that web service then would able to get the patient's data. And one more way is diagnostic center developers can publish the patient data to JMS then hospitals can consume the data over JMS as a messaging or diagnostic centers can load the data to file then keeps into a SFTP location. Then hospital can get the data by connecting to the SFTP location or diagnostic center can load patient data into database then shares database details to the hospital so that hospital can able to get patients information or diagnostic center loads data to file and sends in an email so that hospital will get the file among these the best way is soap or rest services mostly rest services that means web services then the next way is jms and the others have least priority so this way we make the integrations using mule esb tool so we are going to learn how we can develop web services how we can do jms operations how we can do data can be stored into sftp location then we can connect it to that then load the data and how we can dump the data into database and also how we can store the data into file then that can be integrated with the target system. That's all about integration and how many ways we can make the integration. Thanks for watching this video. See you in next session. Happy learning.